This is Glenn Delakian with WAMDA. I'm speaking today with Sarah Galal and Mohamed Badra, the co-founders of Sweetie Heaven in Egypt. Thanks for speaking with us. How are you today? Great. Very good. Great. And uh, I think we'll just dive right in. So can you explain for our viewers uh, what Sweetie Heaven is, um, when you guys got started, and how you came up with the name? Okay. Uh, Sweetie Heaven is an online uh, rewarding system for kids, starting children from uh, 3 to 8, in which children make their wish list toys, prize with balloons, um, and in the span of time they start to get rewarded uh, for showing good behavior by balloons, and they, um, like, accumulating these balloons in order to get the desired toy from the wishes. Okay, great. So, how did you guys get started? Where was your inspiration from? Actually, uh, we got inspired from our daughter, Hazia. Like, you know, like a year ago, we, we, we saw Hazia start to interact with technology, so we, we wanted to make use of, of these tools in order to make it a future for children. Excellent. So can you explain how the website works then? How can parents and kids use it? Uh, the, the very beginning is the parents act, uh, the parent creates an account on Sweetie Heaven, adding the family member, the family details. Then it starts the journey by actually building the wish list of the child, uh, showing the products we have on, uh, on Sweetie Heaven. Uh, currently, we're starting with toys, but we will have uh, different kind of products, books, and all that stuff. Once the child builds or chooses his wish list items, we then the parent then starts to assign him some tasks. Tasks can vary from uh, you know doing the homework, uh, cleaning the table, uh, putting uh, toys in, a, in in closet, or stuff like that. Any uh, any kind of challenges that might have might face parents with the children. Uh, and they are a lot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Then the child back in, in the real life finishes the task and then goes to his profile or his page on Treaty Heaven, send the notification with, and then the parent can approve that this task is, is actually uh, finished. Once the, is, uh, this is done, the child actually gets the, uh, the amount of balloons associated with that task. Then he have, the child would have a certain amount of balloons which he can exchange or buy one of uh, the items. Uh, from from our website, and then we if you haven't delivered this toy or this product to his doorsteps, uh, along with the certificate. So I like love to. Uh, uh, we to we send. send with the toy a certificate of achievement for the child, and it has um, the the tasks he accomplished and the reward he deserved and the. And his picture. And this is one of the things that really attracted children and motivates them to you know, do more uh, good deeds and listen to the parents. And they feel like heroes when they get this certificate. Which is the whole purpose of Sweetie Heaven is you know, to send a message of uh, accomplishment along with the toy itself. Mm -hmm. In addition to that, you can imagine, Glenn, that uh, after 15 years from now or 20 years from now, you would have like a, a complete history of the of your achievements, of the, of the child's achievements, I mean, uh, the, the gifts he had, the tasks he had accomplished. So this is a very valuable uh, uh, prize, along with the journey from the beginning to the end. And I would like to add, Glenn, that uh, one of the main things uh, behind Sweet Heaven is that we wanted to bring parents and the children together through today's technology. So they, they, they sit together, they share the journey together using Sweet Heaven. So when kids earn a certain amount of balloons and they earn the rewards that they've been um, fighting to get, um, then an email goes to the parents and the parent then purchases the, the item, right? Exactly. How do you make the site interactive for kids? Is there any sort of incentive for them to stay on the site and enjoy it, um, play with it a bit? We make it very childish and very interactive with the child that he make his wish list, he can follow up on his progress, he can see how many balloons remain to get uh, a certain um, a certain you know toy from the wish list. Uh, he, he, he has his own world through which he has his own profile. Do you have users outside of Egypt or are you focused solely on Egypt at this point? Uh, currently we are, we are, we are focusing on Egypt, but to, to our surprise that we are already having some users out of from Canada, from the US. Uh, currently we don't check to those locations, but we are in, in, you know, in talks to try to find some other models that can fit those, uh, those markets until we actually go outside and, and uh, provide the service there. 
uh, we try, you know, to maybe we can give them some online uh, gifts that they can actually get from their locations. But currently, they are just you know, using the system, using the uh, their working points with their children. But uh, I believe that the shipping cost would be uh, uh, would be a barrier here. But uh, when we when we expand outside of Egypt, we'll definitely have some other uh, streams to you know to deliver those gifts to their uh, to the users. Okay, great. So you guys are obviously a family business. Um, you're a couple working together. We've seen several other startups with couples um, leading the way. I'm, I'm wondering if you could sort of discuss how you manage the family or and business relationship. Um, a lot of people struggle with that, and I'm just wondering if it's a challenge for you. Yeah. <laughs> now, in the early beginning of building the business, we, we were thinking that the best way to handle this challenge is to separate, you know, work from uh, from, from our personal life and we try to not to talk about it when we get home and stuff like this. But actually, it's it, 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 yeah. And we, we, we discovered that blending both of them is not that bad and we really enjoy it sometimes. Sometimes it's very challenging and it's very tiring, but, but um, sometimes it's really fun. And, you know, and our daughter mainly is enjoying the whole thing. She comes to City Heaven after uh, the play school and she, she, you know, she interacts with everyone and she's she having fun it. and she's listening to everything. So maybe, uh, maybe blending work and, uh, and uh, personal life is not the, uh, kind of the perfect uh, solution to this challenge, but if you are happy, I think that then this is, a, this is one resolution. So you're blending between the personal life and work life, uh, um, and I believe this might be the uh, the, uh, the right formula for to balance our, our personal life and work life. Well, that's great to hear. Do you guys have any plans to expand outside of Egypt uh, moving forward? Definitely. You know that our our service is global and the need is there. It's <laughs> everywhere. Yeah. yeah, it's everywhere. And we are uh, moving to the U.S. and Canada, finalizing the whole thing here in Egypt and uh, shaping the product in a perfect way. Then we will head to uh, to the U.S. and Canada. Okay, great. Well, that sounds awesome. Thank you so much, guys, for speaking with Wamda. I wish you the best of luck. Thank you, Glenn. Thank you, Glenn. We enjoyed it. Yeah.